So we'll talk now then about that, how we thought the um, piece of art fits in, um, and maybe expand a bit on how it fits in with the general uh, theme of the biennial, um, the theme of veracity. Yeah. Um, specifically, I guess, when the, the idea of veracity and the truth and truthfulness, in a sense, I mean, I, I was thinking uh, specifically about, you know, uh, how things that look digital might not be digital or whatever, or the idea of, of, um, of illusion and how that can kind of, um, you know, uh, curb your idea of what the truth actually is. And so specifically with this music, it uh, plays on the idea of the hollow, the hollow face illusion, where when you have a mask and look at it from the inside, um, it actually, because of the, of the shadows and stuff, actually looks like it's popping out at you. And in a sense, I think it's just something that happens in our brains where when you see a face, you automatically just want it to be 3D, not you know, concave. And so um, I was kind of playing on that illusion a little bit um, and trying to kind of, and specifically with the, with the polygon shapes, it kind of you know, feels like it is kind of a virtual uh, image like off a computer that's kind of turning and following you around. And so I kind of like that this idea of this kind of, you know, looming figure watching you. Um, kind of uh, I, the eye in the sky in a sense, but not really. So okay. it's just kind of a little joke. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sort of content. It looks a lot like Jesus, mm -hmm. and um, so it, in terms of the, uh, the the ideas of the virtual and the and the illusion of the thing, um, yeah. when, when you're the, 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 the sort of illusion of convexity, um, mm -hmm. what's what's the sort of comment there? I guess. Yeah, on, I uh, wasn't intending just, it to look yeah. like Jesus at all, and, and you know it, it does. And once I was in the process of making, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to look like <laughs> Jesus. But um, you know, for me, I specifically wanted one. Uh, guy that I know to pose for it because okay. he's got long hair and a beard and yeah. you know when I was thinking sculpturally I was thinking the hair and the beard could work as kind of like a nice stand for the head. It's funny because it is kind of like monolithic it's up there and staring down yeah. at you and following you around so it's kind of interesting to get this idea of God kind of yeah. watching. Yeah and um, initially when I was thinking about the, the sort of subscript have everything and die mm -hmm. um, I don't know they sort of spoke to me in the religious sense I guess. But, sure yeah. Um, what, what was your uh, um, just kind of a comment on all, you know, our society of like, you know, we want everything, but, in, you know, we're all inevitably going to die, so what does it really matter how many, you know, cars you have or whatever, so right. it was that kind of thing, but at the same time, there's like, um, you know, there's more to life than just owning everything, so sure. I just kind of like that idea, and a lot of my work kind of references nature specifically, and so when I make a figurative piece, I try to kind of fit it into that kind of idea of living, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay.